Hello? Is anyone here? Artie? Donkey? Hey, old man! Yeah, you! Have you seen a talking donkey around? Or a whiny teenager? Oh, my! An ogre! Stay back! Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm looking for my friends. Ogres have friends. <sighs> Whether they want them or not. Have you seen them? Shrek! Artie! Where's everyone else? They're back at Merlin's. Merlin? The wizard? At your service. Here, let me magically transport you to my humble home. Ready? Oh, that's just great. Looks like a fine spot to build a plank. Aye, it sure does. Oh no, an ogre! Ogre! Aye. No thanks to you. Just a small spell mishap, nothing more. Now why don't you use your wizardly powers to transport us back to far, far away? No problem. I just need four magical horseshoes, one for each of you. Do we look like horses? Oh, I do, I do. No, no, no. Magical horseshoes are needed for my long-distance teleport spell. It's quite technical. I could explain. Please don't. Uh, all right, fine. I'll find them.
Oh, sure. Now the avalanche stops. Be moving this fine rock, you big green wimp. Me mother can push harder than you, and she's only got one leg. Ah, you may have skippered your way past the rock, but you'll be no match for the savage, heartless creatures that await you up ahead. <laughs> That's all of the horseshoes. Now to find that crazy old wizard's home. This had better work. been eating your spinach. <laughs> You're a big boy, aren't you? said to get horseshoes. I did? For what? To send us back home. I said I'd do that. Our heroes encountered Merlin, the greatest of wizards and use their keen powers of persuasion to obtain his help in returning home. How about a lift? No, no, no. Please. Deeply moved, Merlin consented and carefully selected the precise magical spell for the task. Using all his legendary powers, Merlin whisked them on their way. Mm. Oops, wrong wand, sorry. Ah, now that's more like it. That old crackpot actually sent us back home. Woohoo, boy Shrek. I sure wouldn't have put my money on that. And I still wouldn't, my friend. Look. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Wizard. I'm so glad you dropped us off in an evil infested forest. Oh man, I'm getting the heebie-jeebies, Shrek. You know how I don't like evil forests. I'm gonna hide. Huh. 
I do not like the looks of this castle, boss. It makes my whiskers twitch. Something about it feels evil. Why, thank you, Mr. In Boots. I spent years on the decor. Do you call me Mr. In Boots? I did. Madame, prepare for a world of trouble. Puss, are you trying to pick a fight with the evil lady? It is she who picks the fight with her sarcasm and disdain. Is the little kitty angry? Right. Let's get her. Now that's respectable. Kitty like you once.
morning. I'm a dog person. Oh, I cannot believe this. The gate's almost down, Puss. Find the last switch.
I hope there's a fireman to get me down from here. So that's where those bad guys were coming from. I'm going to have to destroy that gate. Where did the evil queen go? She took off on her broom. I tried to stop her, but alas. My legs were already tired from all that jumping. She's probably warning Charming we're on the way back. Help! That was Pinocchio. This gives me a headache. Ugh! <laughs> 
Incredible today.
Pinocchio, are you all right? Shrek, I'm gonna cry! Don't do that. Anything but that. But did you see all those evil wooden puppets? Don't worry about them. None of them are half the puppet you are. Now tell me what's going on in Far, Far Away. Oh, it's terrible! Prince Charming's taking over! He signed up all the bad guys, even the evil queen! She's taken care of. Captain Hook? Not around anymore. Rapunzel? Really? She seems so nice. Not anymore! Charming captured Fiona and the princesses, took over the castle, now he's gonna put on a big stage show and prove to everyone in Far, Far Away that he's the man! Well, we can't have that, can we? Trust me, someone owes me a favor. Hey, Merlin! Oh dear, it appears there was another spell mishap. No, no, Pinocchio and I wanted to be in this demented toy shop filled with crazy puppets. Whoops, well, you should hear where young Arthur ended up. It wasn't easy extracting him from the belly of a giant squid, you know. Merlin. Easily fixed. Just meet me over here. Oh, and do be careful. It looks rather dangerous. And so the stage was set for the climax of this tale. As Charming prepared a grand show to commemorate his ultimate triumph. To be, or not to be, incredibly handsome. And so Shrek and his friends finally, and at last, returned to far, far away. Well, that was easy. Listen up! You've got ten seconds to release the princesses, or else we're going to knock down your walls! But we can't! Five seconds. But we can't! We really can't! Ugh, rent a guard. Cheap, but stupid. Donkey! Puss! Artie! Bring up the catapult! Why did you call me? There's the enemy castle. Let's smash it. Destroy enemy towers for victory. Fire! Thank <laughs> you. 
shot. Fire! Shot. Fire. Victory is yours. See? Now wouldn't it have been easier to just give up the princesses? We can't. They escaped yesterday. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about the walls. Oh, it's all right. They're insured. Where did they go? Don't ask me. I'm just a minimum wage renter guard. I bet they went back to town, Shrek. Let's go. My keen sense of smell can find them, I'm sure. You know, because I'm part bloodhound. You knew that, right?